there, my name is Miles Davis. I am the artist. I mean, my name is Miles Davis because uh, my mom's main name is Miles, you know? Uh, it's a family name. It's important to me. I mean, I got all the jokes in the world, you know, growing up about my name. So, Miles Davis, you know, so it's, uh, it's like everybody I lost my tan. Still got the soul, though. You even got the horn, too, you know? Check that out. Miles is my firstborn son. It's the reason I'm a mom. Um, well, I was born premature, um, about five or six weeks early. I was told I actually died for, I guess, ten seconds or something like that. As he approached his first birthday, his Korean babysitter wanted to have a celebration at her home. And they had a custom in their country where he put out several different objects on the table. And he would draw uh, on his own, choose an object, and that was supposed to symbolize something in his life. Uh, there were several things, a dollar bill, I remember, and, a, and a, of course I remember the paintbrush. And I was really hoping he'd pick up that dollar bill, which would signify maybe he'd make a lot of money in his life. Oh but he picked, up a, he picked up an artist's brush. And Art is uh, timeless. If you do it right, I think you can uh, really influence culture and comment on your culture, hopefully. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the purest forms of self-expression. Ah, uh, well, my style, I think, is, is very contemporary. Um, it's very illustrative uh, in its line work and its development of subject matter and dealing with uh, the figurative subject matter. Uh, I've chosen to kind of go that direction, I think, because I was raised in a divorced family and did a lot of traveling growing up uh, in the mid-'80s. And I saw the advent of the Internet, like a lot of people from my generation did, um, read a lot of comic books and played video games and all that kind of stuff and, and all that kind of develops into our, our modern day culture and so I try to borrow from that culture i.e. those influences that I had growing up um, and in doing that uh, hopefully it reads for my generation in, in the legacy of, of art history um, if I'm so blessed enough to to have my work live on past my lifetime My dad and my stepmother were Catholic, so I had a lot of uh, division there. And because they're bitterly divorced, it, a lot of the different nuances between the different sections of Christianity, so to speak, uh, came to light. And, and religion is not just something that I necessarily condone. Organized religion is a little bit of a, a, a bitter taste for me. Uh, I'm very spiritual, so but because I was raised in that, I can only paint what I know, really. Ah, uh, Miles Alright. It's absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Really, really, really good. I think he's brilliant. He's kind of like a idiot, idiot savant. More, a lot more idiot than savant, I would say. He was my party child. Fucking douchebag. I really don't like Miles at all. Art's just, it's very therapeutic for me. Uh, I absolutely love doing it. I'm addicted to it. It's a very compulsive behavior. Uh, my girlfriend actually gets mad at me a lot of times. If I don't paint for a while, I get real bitchy, apparently. Uh, my tie here actually has scribbles in it representing my story or my journey in this life thus far. Um, and on top of that, there's, there's perched a crow. Uh, the crow represents death's uh, deadline, so to speak, of us being able to accomplish our dreams and aspirations before we die. My preferred medium would be acrylic paint. Uh, I do a lot of mild mixed media, but uh, typically speaking, my, my basic underpaintings and the majority of my paintings tend to come uh, with mostly acrylic paint. I do some mild collage and spray paint. Um, I will draw on my canvases on top of the paint if I want to. Um, I use markers. Uh, all very contemporary uh, mediums. So it took me about 15 hours to complete. Um, I painted myself as a jester. Um, I'm not a happy gesture. I actually have a tear coming down there representing my regrets. I have no arms because I felt like a lot of artists, uh, myself included, we give up so much of ourselves to really uh, chase after some of our created aspirations. So uh, he's armless. There's a maze in the background that actually has the uh, vanishing points going to my soul as well. Um, the maze represents, uh, probably obviously, uh, our journey and our directions and our choices and directions in which we go in this life. 